Hey guys, it's Matt Light, the four-time best comedian in Pittsburgh, and today I am in the heart of the Strip District, that's right, and we are talking Valentine's Day, baby! Do you have the garbage can out of the shot? I do, but... Alright, okay. good. Because we're talking Valentine's Day, I wanted to make sure my ex was not in the video. <laughs> So that's good. We are here with Chris LaRusso. Chris, Man. Valentine's Day is coming up. Yes, yes, yes. Do you have a Valentine? I do, I do. It's my lovely fiance, Laura Loveless, also a professional wrestler. Uh, we got together actually the day after Valentine's Day. Funny story about this. Her uh, boyfriend at the time had screwed up Valentine's Day so badly, so horribly, that she came over to my place the next day we ended up hooking up and it just went straight on from there. Oh so, my God. so do not, guys, oh my God. don't screw up Valentine's Day. I mean, that's a one call close. We'd, so, been, we'd been talking, but you know. Oh, so she was cheating. Uh, no, 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 no. She had not been cheating until after her boyfriend but she was up. she thought maybe she wanted some of the hammer right maybe, you know i i don't want to speak for her no, so you never it's 2022 absolutely women not. can speak for themselves absolutely and if she finds out that she's gonna kick my ass she will not know it's only gonna go on the internet if i can't have you i don't want nobody baby if i can't have you oh. His story was great. Cheating is hysterical when it's not on you. What was your worst Valentine's Day experience? Ooh. <laughs> so I went over to this girl's house. Yes. I had some fun. We were just chilling. Okay. Then her sister walked in. Then I went to her sister's room. And then she found out. All in one? And then she joined and then her mom found out and then it went bad. Okay, and what website is this on that I can watch this? I fucking wish, dude. <laughs> I so, wish. So, can I, can I do a John Madden breakdown of this? Okay, so you're in the room, right? And, yes, and, and you're with a girl, right? And, and a sister walks in, and then boom. Tough act. And so you go in, so you leave your girl. She had to take a shit, so I went into the girl's room. <laughs> so, I, how did you know she wanted it? Oh, she was giving me them fucking eyes, dude. So you so, couldn't tell what else those were. So wait a minute. You were hooking up and she saw you guys hooking up. Yes. What were you doing at that time? Oh, I was blowing her fucking back out. Oh, okay, doing some jack. Okay. And she saw and she gave you that shit. Come to my room now. <laughs> she gave me that look. I went over, she was already butt naked. I don't even deny that you weren't blowing her back out because you you made her shit. So I mean, <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> So then you were with the sister. Yeah. Then the sister comes in. Yeah. And does the sister do anything with her sister? Oh, hell yeah. They joined in. But did they do stuff to each other? Oh, fuck no. I was doing it to both of them at the same time. How many dicks do you have? One, and I got a hand also. Oh, dude, this guy's awesome. <laughs> and then when does the mom come in? Oh, she came in about 30 minutes after that. She was screaming her fucking lid off. What the fuck is this? What's going on? I'm like... What town was this in? Iowa. I lived in Iowa for 13 years. Okay. Well, I guess other than shucking corn, you guys shucking dick. So that is awesome. Nothing says Valentine's Day like an authentic Ernie McCracken bowling ball from the movie Kingpin. That thing is phenomenal. Uh, Valentine's Day is on Monday. Yes, sir. Uh, what are you doing for it? Um, I'm gonna spend it with my daughter. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna get my girlfriend's son, but she works. She's like super busy for me. So okay. I, you know, I'm just gonna get her something to keep it moving. Yeah. What, Shout out to my girlfriend. What is the best Valentine's Day you've ever had? It was three Valentine's Days ago. I had a threesome. Is one of them with your current girlfriend? No. <laughs> so do you think your Valentine's Day with your girlfriend will be better than this threesome? Oh, fuck yes. Yeah? Yeah. You think it'll be better? Right, I could put it anywhere I want. She gave me validation. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, like, I forgot this is an interview. No, this I'm is, just truthful, I'm just being truthful. This is exactly what we this want. What this is what Full we want. Full throttle. Yeah. It's gonna be balls to the wall, hot sex, all day on Valentine's Day. Holla at your boy. What is the appropriate position for Valentine's Day? 69. Everyone gets it. <laughs> Come on, bro, you gotta keep it at me, bro. Let's do this shit. I feel like I was made for this. What is the best way to have sex? Where are you? A, you gotta eat the pussy first. You gotta, like, caduce the juices. 
Produce the juice. They jump off the dresser in that shit. Just swan dive into it. <laughs> Is there any advice you'd like to give people going out on their first date for Valentine's Day? Um, ask 21 questions before you smell it. All right, so I was originally going to interview you two, uh, and then I talked to the gentleman from Chicago. Who, did you get any notes? Did you? Oh my God. Did you I, that was an experience. Like, I was taking notes the whole time, so, you know, I'm definitely going to stretch beforehand, yeah. it sounds like. Yeah. You know, you got to be in shape for this. So is this going to be the same Valentine's Day experience for you guys? I don't know. We should try that swan dive. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever needed performance-enhancing drugs? <laughs> Have you ever tried it? Uh, it depends on what we're counting here because like... Dick pills! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> For your wiener! Basically my social media page has been advertising like all kinds of fun things to me though that since it's Valentine's Day. Yeah. Like hymns, right? Have you heard of him? Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. like the cheap Viagra, but yeah. like... You lose your hair, but you gain hard penis. <laughs> Something, Look at right? this, though. These locks. No, you gotta <laughs> eat that. Yeah. Yes, it, it's like down to here. It's pretty... It's, uh, well, he's, I, my, he's my Thor. Is he? Oh, mm. with his hammer, too, right? <laughs> Are you guys in relationships? Mm, yes. Kind of? <laughs> okay, so... New relationships. There is no confidence in either of those answers. <laughs> You're right. It's new. I got flowers for Valentine's Day from him, so I would say yes. And in and, and your eh, eh, eh. What, is, what is that? It's not official. Okay. But we've been like talking for a couple months. Oh, what are you wait what's he waiting for? I don't know. I don't know. Did he get you anything for Valentine's Day? No. <laughs> Alright, well this is now a dating show. Oh. <laughs> what is your name? McKenna. If you like McKenna, go ahead and dial in 1-800-V-DAY-446 and she's number five. <laughs> you type in number five, you're going to have a date with her. What is your best Valentine's Day experience? Weekend. Oh, okay. Valentine's Day tomorrow. Yes. Right? Yep. Oh, yep. brunch mm -hmm. with the bitches. Exactly. Yeah. Mimosas? Like, like, yeah, and uterus uh, confetti. Excuse and me, I, what? Uterus <laughs> confetti? Is it liquidated too, or is it just no. like? Okay. No, and I have, I have like um, a banner that's it's like smash it's like puss puri almost. Exactly. Puss puri. Just. I have a um, uh, a banner that says smash the patriarchy. So we're just gonna lean into the feminism. No, that Good word for you. smash has a double meaning, right? Oh like, my God, get out of here! Uh, at the count of three, we're gonna look at the drummer and we're gonna tell him to shut the fuck up. Okay. All right. Uh, I think he's afraid of us. Look at that. That's it, we're doing it. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Go ahead. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, this has certainly been a treat. We learned way too much about Valentine's. I'm never gonna look at Valentine's Day the same after the gentleman that I met today and to the women celebrating Valentine's Day. Enjoy your mimosas, bitches.